Okay, let's find the equation of a tangent line to this function f of x, which is a quadratic, at a given value when x is one. So as we get going on this, there are two components that we're gonna need. We're gonna need the slope of our line because it is a tangent line, and we're gonna need a point on our line. So as we get going on this, we can find the point first by plugging into the original function with the given value. So we're gonna evaluate f at one. So we have two times one squared minus five times one plus six. From here, a little bit of simplifying down, this is gonna be two minus five plus six, which is gonna work out to be three. So that means our ordered pair is gonna be one, three. And then we also need the slope of our line. Where we're gonna get the slope of our line from is by taking the derivative and the derivative evaluated at one is gonna be our slope. So the derivative here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is use the power rule repeatedly. So we have the constant comes down the two, and then I'm gonna focus on the x squared part. The exponent's gonna come down in front and be a multiple, and then we reduce the exponent by one. So two minus one is gonna give us a one for our new exponent. Second term there, we're gonna go ahead and bring along the minus five. Now that x is raised to the first power, so we could say, well, the one comes down in front, and then it's gonna be x to the one minus one makes the zero power. Finally, we have plus six at the end. That's a constant, so a constant is always gonna have a derivative of zero. All right, let's clean this up a little bit before we evaluate it. So we have two times two is gonna make four, and then x minus five times one, and then x to the zero power is gonna be one. So I don't have to rewrite five times one, we'll just leave it as five. And I'm gonna drop the plus zero at the end as well. So that's our derivative. Next, let's evaluate it at one. So we do four times one minus five is gonna be four minus five, gives us negative one. And remember what I said, the derivative means the same thing as our slope. So the slope of our line is gonna be negative one. All right, to finish up, we need to actually get the equation of that tangent line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace m with negative one over here. I'm also gonna go ahead and replace, we found this point that's an x value and a y value. So I'm gonna put the three in for our y and I'm using the slope intercept form of a line, y equals mx plus b, just because that tends to be the easiest one for students to remember. The x value gets replaced with one or the x in the formula gets replaced with one. And then we bring along the plus b, which will be our y intercept. A little bit of algebra and solving down, we get three equals negative one plus b. We'll add the one, move it to the other side, and we get four equals b. Putting this all together, we know it's gonna be y equals, we said our slope was negative one, put the x back in that spot, and I'm gonna take that four, and it's gonna be our y, inter y intercept at the end. So I'm gonna put a four at the end. So the slope of our, or the equation of our tangent line is gonna be y equals negative one x plus four. All right, hope this helps out as you're trying to find the equation of a tangent line. Just remember you need these two components, the point that's on our graph, we get that by plugging back into the original function, and then we have to take the derivative and evaluate that at that same x value, that'll give us the slope of our line, put it all together, and we can get the equation of our tangent line. All right, hope this helps, good luck.